Okay, here we go again. We've got a Dell Latitude E6330. We're going to clone what's on the hard drive here. We've got a 500 gig platter spinning hard drive. I want to put an SSD in it. The SSD is a Samsung 128. We're going to use this core, this adapter cable, which connects to the SSD drive itself and then gets power and data transfer via USB. If we were having a platter spinning drive, we might be required to uh, grant the drive more power via a secondary USB, which we could either plug into the laptop or have an external battery power source, which I've done before. All right, so we've got this connected. We're gonna go ahead and use a piece of software called Cream Reflect. And this is a, a cloning software. You wanna create Rescue Media? No, this is what I wanna clone, okay. So check it out. This is a 500 gig drive. See, as you can see right there, it's a 500 gig drive, but uh, I cloned a 128 onto this 500. So we've got three partitions, um, which, you know, Windows created uh, upon installation. So we've got these three partitions, which equal 128. And then we've got this remainder, which it's good that we don't have any of that filled up because that makes cloning a little easier since we're just going from 128 to 128. Let me go ahead and plug this right up to the USB. And what we're gonna see is we're gonna see a, a green power and a blue data. So we'll watch for those. So all we really needed to do was reboot and now we've got the drive that's inside and we've got this disc. Uh, let, let me go ahead and just disconnect the power and see what happens. All right, so I don't think we'll need this uh, power stone here to provide the drive with more power because it don't need it. So there's our drive. We want to clone it here. We basically want to clone this drive to that drive. All right, so clone this disc, select the disc to, uh, disc to clone. Uh, if there were any partitions here, I would select them and delete them right here with this button, delete existing partition, just so you start from scratch. Next, next, finish, okay. And this takes about 30 minutes and I'll see you in about 30 minutes. Okay, looky, looky, took 19 minutes and 24 seconds. That's actually record time, um, probably because I took everything off of this hard drive and left the bare minimum. Um, so we can go ahead and just disconnect, okay? And I'll just shut this computer down, okay? I'll unplug this cord, flip it over, now this particular laptop I got from uh, eBay and so you know, as with the things you get used, um, these snaps broke it's almost immediately and I haven't heard back from the seller. So do I escalate? How about you guys tell me if, if I escalate or not and I'll follow your command. But basically it allows the, the laptop to almost, uh, the battery to fall out of the back. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to get to the hard drive. This particular laptop, it's almost too easy. It's just these two screws and not that one. Sometimes they have one, two, three, four, but not for this one. So just pull on that and voila, we've got our hard drive. So take that off. Okay, so this, this came off. We'll set this to the side, bring this guy in and I don't know which way it goes. So let's go ahead and just peer inside. So it looks like it's gonna go in uh, that way. So, and this bevel would go this way. Uh, that notch would go into that hole. And we'll put our screw right here. Let's see if it fits. I think it's going in. Felt like it went in. I guess that would be the problem with this configuration. Is you don't know if it's an absolute secure connection. Because you can't see it unless you take the panel off. But I will trust it. Okay. That's pretty much it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Subscribe, links in the description below for the tools, the cords. Um, later.